So next up, you can now import lights created in your 3D package into Unity. Um, this ship wants some kind of inspection. Uh, so we're going to switch over to Maya and we've got this little inspection bot guy here and we'd like to put uh, a lamp or a spotlight of some kind that can illuminate the ship uh, over in our Unity scene. So the great thing is we can just create a, a Maya, in this case, a spotlight. So we've got one there. I'm just going to scale that up and rotate it to face the right way. Uh, and then if we move it up, we probably want to uh, pop it into this little gap here. So it's uh, shining out of there. And then we probably have... Um, we don't really need so that should do then we've got in the channel box editor we can have a look at some of the colors here or in the attribute editor indeed we can actually pick a color so let's go for a kind of tungsten sort of warm tungsten color uh, and then we might whack the intensity up to about 2.4 something like that uh, and we can also adjust the cone angle which is uh, kind of what we want to do. We'll pop it out so it's kind of in line with the, the edge of that hole there, which is quite nice. Yeah, lovely. So if we parent that to the inspector bot like that, then we can select both. Well, we can just drag select all of them and we can do a file export selection and that will export exactly what we have selected inside Maya. We want to make sure that we include lights into our exporter. So if we have a look at the different options, we've got the animation, which is going to close out geometry. And then under cameras and lights, we have tick boxes for each of those. So we're just going to enable those and then we're going to switch to our project, um, which is here. And we're going to go assets, models, Inspector bot and let's call this uh, light bot like so. Uh, export the selection. And of course, as soon as we switch back, this guy uh, imports pretty quickly. Um, the materials are set up already with um, physically based shaded materials from Stingray. We'll go into that a bit later. But for the meantime, we can drag that straight into the hierarchy and that will come in on 000. zero, zero and also we can see that there is a light attached to that, which is great. So let's just move them out here a little bit and uh, up in line with the side of the of the ship. Um, we might want to say he wants to inspect this bit. And if we rotate him here and drag it down, you can see there's a spotlight. Um, and if we have a look at the attributes of that light, we can see that they match the color and intensity uh, that we exported, which is great. And then we can adjust those in Unity and have those preserved, even with re-import. Or if we've adjusted the parameters inside Unity, then, uh, um, sorry, inside Maya, then those will be preserved when we re-import. So we have the ultimate flexibility there. Uh, and that's light importing.